Welcome back. So today we're going to read a story titled Dear Primo, A Letter to My Cousin. And if you're following along with the second grade Wonders Anthology book, this story starts on page 336. So go ahead and follow along with me. And let's go ahead and get started. Genre, Realistic Fiction. Dear Primo, A Letter to My Cousin by Duncan Donatuth. Essential Question. How are kids around the world different? Read about how two cousins live and play in America and Mexico. Score! I just got a letter from my primo, my cousin Carlitos. I live in America, but he lives in Mexico, where my family is from. Maybe someday we'll meet. Dear Primo Charlie, how are you? Do you wonder like me what life is like far away? I live on a farm surrounded by mountains and trees. My family grows many things such as maize. We have a burro, boyos, and a gallo. Every morning the gallo crows and crows. Gallo, maize, burro, boyos. Dear Primo Carlitos, I live in a city. From my window I can see a bridge and cars zooming by. I can see skyscrapers too. Skyscrapers are buildings so tall they tickle the clouds. At night, all the lights from the city look like stars from the sky. Every morning, I ride my bicicleta to school. I ride it past the perros and past a nopal. Nopal, perros. I ride the subway to school. The subway is like a long metal snake. It travels through tunnels underground. At recess time, I play football. My friend passes me the ball and I kick it with my foot. And if I score, I yell, goal. I play basketball. My friend dribbles the ball and passes it to me. I jump and shoot. The ball goes swoosh, nothing but net. When I come home from school, I help my mom cook. My favorite meal is quesadillas. I make them with cheese and tortillas. Quesadillas, tortillas. In America, we have lots of different foods. My favorite food is pizza. I like eating a slice on the way home from school. After I finish my homework, my mom lets me go outside and play. In Mexico, we have many games like trompos and canicas. My favorite game is papalotes. My friends and I run and run, and with a little wind, we fly the papalote high up. When I finish my homework, I play games with my friends from the building. We play by the stoop. In each other's apartments, too. I like going over to my friend's home to play video games. In the afternoon, if it gets hot, to cool off, I jump in a small rio that is nearby. Rio. Visualize. What do the cousins like to do when it's hot? Use the visualize strategy to help you. In the summer, the city gets hot, too. I like getting splashed by the fire hydrant when the firefighters open it up and close off the block. On the weekend, I go with my parents to the Mercado, an open-air market in a town nearby. We sell maiz and tunas, a prickly fruit that we grow. We also buy the food and other things we need. Maiz, tunas. On the weekend, I go with my mom to the supermarket. She brings a list, milk, toothpaste, soap, and I check off the items as we put them in our cart. In the town, from time to time, they have fiestas that last two or three days. At night, there are coetes that light up the sky and mariachis that play and play. Coetes, mariachis. In my city, sometimes we have parades, people in costumes and uniforms march down the street and everyone gathers around to watch. There are charros in Mexico, and I wish you could see. They do tricks with their caballos and reatas. Charros, reata, caballo. On the streets here, you could see break dancers who do flips and spin on their heads. In Mexico, we have so many traditions, such as Dio de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. My favorite tradition is attending the December parties called posadas. At the end of each posada, there is a piñata filled with fruit and sweets. When someone breaks it, we all get to jump in. Stop and check. Reread. What customs does the primo celebrate? Reread and check for understanding. In America,
America, we have traditions too, such as Thanksgiving, when we eat turkey. And Halloween, when we dress up and go trick-or-treating. But I have to stop writing now. My mom just told me that I have to brush my teeth and go to bed. I have an idea. My primo should come visit me. About the author and illustrator. Duncan Donatooth made his own comic books, drew cartoons of his friends, and also painted pictures as a child. Now Duncan writes and illustrates books. When Duncan creates a book, he starts with an idea. For Dear Primo, he had the idea of two cousins writing to each other. He wanted readers to understand that people everywhere are more alike than different. Next, Duncan writes and rewrites the story. Then he draws the pictures. Sometimes Duncan puts the books aside for months before he looks at it again. He may have a new idea about the story and want to change things. Finally, he finishes the illustrations. Then the book is ready to be published. Author's Purpose Duncan uses Spanish words throughout the story. How does this help you understand what Carlitos is writing about in his letters? All right, so I think that the author used those Spanish words to help us feel more connected with Carlitos, so that way we can also learn more as we're reading the story. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and go ahead and start thinking about some things that they did that were alike and some things that were different. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.